We're going to blog and blog for the next 10 minutes or so. The most amazing magic show, Confield's last magic show, was Great Magician from 2001. Confield's uh, attacking the vortex show, okay, seriously, including Portal. So it's about relax for 10 minutes, which we vlog and blog. Amazing magic show from 2001. Confield's last show, uh, the amazing vortex illusion show. Here we're going to go. I've come to Korea, I've already taken off the last 20 years, from 1979 to 1995. We've done many, many shows, about 70 shows anyway, for this. He, of course, he invented an airplane, he invented Statue of Liberty, he walked through Great Wall of China, of course, he challenged the force from Muda Triangle, he escaped from Alcatraz, he escaped from a burning tower block, that kind of stuff, and also gone over Niagara Falls, and he vanished in the Honor Express carriage, he'd done Flying Dream, he escaped from a burning rope, kind of thing. Done many, many shows, seriously. And of course, one of the things people do now was to do something amazing, which is to challenge also, a vortex of fire, seriously. That's a big illusion, this illusion. Show seriously. And Confield begins to show with some amazing illusion, including an illusion where he kind of appears. So they have a big platform in the stage, basically, and have a big sheet. The sheet comes down, basically, a huge sheet. And they have got four guys holding this big sheet, sheet of metal, basically, below it. And this big sheet of metal held up by four guys. And this big sheet comes down from the ceiling, and the sheet kind of rolls down and floats back again. And amazingly, beautifully, elegantly, uh, suddenly the sheet kind of goes up, and suddenly Confield appears out of nowhere. Check it out, sir. It's a regular illusion, indeed, seriously. This is an amazing appearance he does at the beginning of the show. Very impressive, indeed, seriously. I'll check this out. I do love this illusion very much, indeed. And this, you know, show. this is actually quite impressive illusion. I, think, I don't actually know how it's done quite. He appears on this piece, piece of metal, seriously, from nowhere. Amazing, seriously. And the guys are holding it up. I don't know whether one of the guys is fake, one of the metal's fake. I don't know what it is, but it's quite an effective illusion. People all around, as I say, 360 degrees around him. So it's quite impressive how this is done. And check it out on the video. Look at this. It's quite amazing as it appears, seriously. We then go to a little bit of a joke with the duck. The duck comes back. The old duck Webster from the old days comes back from the outright 80s. Webster's back again, seriously. Remember Webster, the duck is back again. And we go to another illusion. We cut to another illusion of the show where he has. A uh, thing called the slicer, laser beam slicer. And this, this is a trick that was quite popular 20 years ago. This illusion is where Confield basically kind of is there's a big eyeball wheel on stage, the laser beam popping out of the eyeball. Confield is on top of a set of steps. And what basically happens is they fire a laser beam right through Confield's middle, like this, seriously, and he's sliced in half, seriously. And suddenly the top of his body it kind of it gets detached from his legs, okay. And the top of his torso and head are holding onto his legs, okay. Amazing necessity. So Confield's kind of go, sort of jumping down this set of steps, seriously, and he's got his legs there, and the body's holding onto the legs. It's a really weird trick, seriously. I think, honestly, I, I don't know how it's done. I've seen how it's done in recent years. I don't know how it's done at first. It's quite amazing. I'm looking at it right now on television, as usual. Pretty amazing illusion, seriously. This is the severance of the body and, and uh, torso. And legs are really amazingly done. Confident also cuts a bit doing outside as well. Does a tree outside as well. Looking at it, it's quite amazing. Even looking at this now, his legs are there. He's sat in a stool. His legs are there. His body's here. It's really amazing. Seriously. <laughs> a bit of kind of puppet trick and artistry kind of thing with I think obviously got fake legs but it's a very good bit indeed seriously kind of, uh, kind of movement of fake legs and also to do with the thing he's wearing but it looks really amazing seriously it's the, the slicing of the body and legs really impressive seriously and it's done with quite a good aplomb it's theatrically as usual the trick's quite a basic trick but the, the trick of the trick is the way, the way they, they use the laser beam to kind of make the trick look more amazing seriously so good trick seriously I do love it it's the slicing of the body and legs together amazing trick seriously and that comes on the show let's look at the next bit of the show as well 
Um, we'll catch this show. He does, does trick outside, actually. Well, he does, does trick outside as well in the middle of a car park. He does this a bit where he separates his legs and body as well in the middle of a car park, you know. Good trick, isn't it? Seriously. He then goes to a couple of small illusions. He does some big illusions as well in the show. And go to, the next big illusion he does really is a bit where he gets a couple of girls and he kind of like, it's kind of a sexy illusion, saucy illusion. It's Valentine's Day anyway tomorrow in England and the UK. So maybe this is, this is suitable. This is called the knickers off illusion. Seriously, it's where girls, it's kind of a jokey illusion where girls, it's a bit cheeky, isn't it? It's a couple of girls got a stage on, on, on stalls basically. And what he does is he kind of, it's a bit cheeky this says, not, not for the kids. He kind of um, makes the knickers change places. It's kind of a tricky trick set. One, one's got white knickers, one's, got, one's wearing red knickers. The girls are fully dressed. And the trick is that the knickers change place. It's really weird, seriously. It's actually a goofy trick. He's actually done using a thing called the zombie, where you kind of like have a bit of a kind of like, you get a bit of cloth and he waves it in front of the girl. And the illusion is the girl's underpants fall off, right, behind the cloth. And then they go and the other girl, the other girls, that girls and the pants fall off and, and go behind the cloth and also go on the other girl's body basically. So the girls and the pants change places and the, the cloth kinds have a little fake thing with the, the little, the, what looks like a pair of knickers is dancing. It's kind of like an illusion, it's just an illusion really. It's, it's kind of a saucy trick. I can't feel obviously went for this because it's a saucy, sexy kind of thing about it. And it's a naughty trick. This is a trick he doesn't normally sort of do normally, this kind of stuff. This way of pushing the barriers to be a bit sexy, a bit naughty. I mean, it's quite funny. It's quite a funny illusion, seriously. Don't very well indeed, I can't feel enough to say. The use of the zombie gimmick, which is the trick with the, 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 the pair of underpants fly behind the piece of cloth. It's quite an old trick, but it's not really well in the illusion, seriously. Magic, good fun. Uh, not the best thing he's ever done in his life, but it's a bit of a sexy sort of bit of magic. Quite fun, seriously. Not the best thing he's ever done in his career, but it's quite fun, seriously. That's the change of a girl's underwear. <laughs> so that's all I can say about it, basically. Um, or the liquor swap. Okay. The next illusion after this video, the thing of the show now after this, we're going to see what's next on the show. It's got quite a few things. There's a lot of ch chat in the show. And there's a lot of little tricks and bits and pieces in the show, including turning his hand upside down, which is an old illusion. The next big illusion really does is to actually get a couple of guys on stage on a little sofa, actually. Have a little, a little, a little red sofa. And it does the thing with a lot of flying dream. The guys sit on the sofa and the sofa levitates right up in the sky, basically, right above everyone's heads. And then it floats. The guys are sat on the sofa, oh my God, I'm floating in the middle of the air. And the sofa kind of floats down into a glass box. And the seat in the glass box, there's nothing there at all. And there's no strings or wires. And the sofa's floating inside the glass box. A bit like the flying dream we did back in 1992 where Coffin flew it round the stage like Peter Pan into glass boxes that kind of stuff and through hoops it's kind of a bit gimmicky again the trick's a bit silly really he does it outside as well it cuts a bit outside again there's a tree outside in the car park where he levitates the guys in the sofa again it's a funny trick it's not particularly great it's a bit of filler to be honest it's using an old principle for an old magic show and rewiring it into a new kind of principle basically however this is quite entertaining it's a bit of filler nothing particularly special but it's the levitating guys in the sofa the guys do look like real guys don't they I presume they're real guys they're not fake guys but the illusion of the sofa floating using the technology he was using when he was doing Fly and Dream about 1992, okay?
tricky. There's a trick actually with it where he does uh, the moon rock. The moon rock's a good trick, seriously. Uh, well, with the moon rock, he gets a bit of moon rock and a bit of a glass of water. It's a lovely trick, actually. It's, it's a bit of fake moon rock, but it's like moon rock. And basically, it's a few jokes for people in the audience, a few gags thrown as well, seriously, where he rubs the top of the glass and it goes, wee, you know what I mean? That kind of few jokes in there. And basically, he puts cloth over the glass and rubs the moon rock over the glass. And the, and the water, like the tides, you know, the theme of the tides, the water disappears in the glass entirely, rubs the rock over the glass again, pulls the cloth again away, and the, the water's back in the glass. It's beautiful, actually. Then he, then he kind of like reaches in the air and pulls uh, from nowhere uh, some fish from nowhere, basically. The fish go in the glass like that, seriously. Good appearance of the little fishies. Good to service. Again, it's a lovely routine. Again, nice trick. He's actually appearing, vanishing water in the glass, appearing water in the glass, and making the, the fish appear. It's an old trick from Victorian days, actually, 100 odd years ago, done by many magicians, including magician Chung Yisoo about 100 years ago. The Chinese magician Chung Yisoo got shot, actually, on stage. But that trick is really good, actually. And that's the appearing fish in the glass of water, done with a lovely kind of uh, parable, a kind of uh, story of moon rocks and moon rocks and tides, that kind of stuff. So very good trick indeed. So let's check it out, the, the moon tide illusion. show this show is so big we go to the next big illusion. oh this this is this is voyeur this trick is the best trick in the show this is voyeur this is illusion's best trick in the show seriously this is where Copperfield has two girls they're kind of lying in a bed these two little girls nice girls actually and they're kind of they're dancing basically with him they kind of uh, they're, they're kind of in their toy beautiful kind of models basically these two girls and he gets them to a, of, of a podium and basically it gets a sheet a big sheet and they can see the girl silhouette with the sheet and suddenly pow okay the sheet drops and the girls completely disappear now this is the world's most amazing disappearance of girls seriously this illusion is best in the show it's called voyeur it's amazing seriously the music the, the lighting the sound the movement the girls the dance the bodies as usual can feel this is beautifully performed illusion seriously in fact i'd say this is the top five illusions of all, of all time seriously ever done this is my top ten all time this illusion seriously it's amazing looking at now the dancing beautiful the girls body language is beautiful the girls disappearance is fantastic sis it's fantastic the girls disappearance is fantastic seriously the girls are literally there and they literally just disappear like that and that's it and then goes to the solid stage and he puts the card and drops with the game very slowly and the girls reappear again but it's a great illusion it's done with beautiful artistry even i can't see how it's done exactly the girls i presume would probably drop drop behind but it's beautiful illusion seriously say it's beautiful this is the top illusion of all time with it this is my top three seriously this illusion of all time seriously voyeur check it out voyeur see one thing in the show voyeur from this show so it's called Phil's last show tornado of fire show check it out but this voyeur is magnificent there's nothing short of that basically probably the top two or three along with the buzzsaw probably along with the um 
Origami box, he did it back in Cuffield 11. Uh, this is the best illusion, bar none for Cuffield, seriously. That, that, there you are, it's good stuff in it, seriously. Small magic, goes in the audience, okay, does small magic. I think this illusion does, uh, this is slow motion, uh, this tricky did slow motion duck he did back in 984. This is an old illusion he did from years and years ago. This illusion again is where Cuffield kind of gets, it's a beautiful trick actually. He, he did it back in the old days. The thing with this show is he gets some of the old tricks out, the old school magic out. Digs it back again, puts it back again basically. So you can see the old school kind of magic being raw again. And the way that's good, maybe it's not good because this is old material. This trick is where Cuffield kind of gets a duck and he puts it in a box and the duck, duck vanishes the box and appears in a, in, a, in a kind of like in a barrel being held by in the audience basically. And there's a kind of very clever joke in it where Cuffield um, pretends to take the, 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 the duck from the box in slow motion and put it in the barrel in slow motion. It's a great routine, seriously. Check it out. I have to see it to believe it. It's a great routine. This is done excellently at Gamble Cuffield. Remember, the guy in the audience is involved in it. It's fantastic. The, the duck disappears and appears inside the barrel. Amazing trick, seriously. I love it. And the routine, comedy routine is so good. This is one of Cuffield's best solutions, seriously. And the best comedy tricks of all time. Bar none, seriously. This is the, the slow motion duck. Check it out, seriously. If you have never seen it, so Cuffield's 984 special, Cuffield number six, which is the, I think that, that that's a special where he flies in the Grand Canyon. It's also in this show, Cuffield's 2001 special, Tornado of Fire. Check it out, seriously. Cuffield's slow motion duck routine. It is magic with comedy par excellence, definitely. Believe me, seriously. Okay. It's going to be 13. Now, 13, okay, this this solution 13, this solution is a that Comfort got, got uh, fortunately got sued for actually. So technical solution, seriously, got sued for it. Well, this is where you get 13 people in a big box on stage. You put them in their seat, they have, they're basically, everyone comes to stage, real members of the audience is sitting sitting on stage basically, big seats in a big, big box basically, and 13 of them, as you know, and basically puts a big shawl, a big thing around the whole box basically, a big screen around the box, and they shine lights and torches through the box, they're still inside the box basically. And suddenly, of course, the blocks, you can see around the box beneath it, behind it, and suddenly all the canvas drops and the people will disappear entirely, seriously, all 30 disappear, and everyone's go, wow, they will disappear, where this could be, these people gone, seriously. And then, and then suddenly back of the audience, all people here at the back of the auditorium, seriously, it's amazing, isn't it? All the people appear at the back of the audience, and, then, and then these are real guys, real members of the audience, they're not fake people, they're not stooges, they're literally put inside this big box, they all disappear entirely, all 13 of them, and they appear in the audience, it's amazing, seriously. Now this is really amazing, this, come for the cause you know, as you're very well, very publicised, got sued for it because apparently someone got injured during the illusion apparently someone was led away down a back tunnel apparently, apparently down a back tunnel somewhere and they fell over and hurt themselves and this, this led to a big court case Godfrey got sued but Godfrey won the case actually in the end as you might know he had very good lawyers didn't he and so the thing never came to anything basically and of course that cost the people a lot of money to sue him but it's a great illusion nevertheless he's done this illusion a thousand times stage no one's ever been hurt by illusion before and illusion's really illusion of course I think this health and safety is really, really good illusion seriously illusion looks really good it's very baffling because even now looking at the television you can see around the box, you see beneath the box, behind the box, how the guys disappear, I cannot see myself, whether it's mirrors, I don't know, it's really good seriously, but how people get out of the box is really baffling seriously, looking at it right now to me as a magician, even I can't see how this works, but seriously, all 13 people do disappear entirely from the box, illusion of 30, check it out on Godfield's Tornado Show as well.
okay. Uh, moving on from that as well, this is quite a big part of the show, so we're going to flick on from this part to the next, next illusion as well, um, where he, this, there's a lot of stretching this out. In fact, this 13 illusion looks very spectacular, isn't it, looking at it? The lighting and the staging is really good as well, plus also the way the book people disappear was very well done indeed. And also the audience are all random, aren't they? 360 degrees. So how that's done is very impressive, I've got to say. So Paul Lucian's really good illusion, actually. Paul Lucian, where he gets a member, a member of the audience, uh, of the audience. He tells a story of a guy, basically, who has basically, uh, unfortunately, lost his dad. His dad's gone missing. His dad actually he lost his dad as a child, basically. He's a, he's a very nice guy, the black guy. And his dad's gone missing from years and years ago, and he wants to go and meet his dad again. And the trick is, really, that he wants to get his dad reunited. Come from, they said, big screen, basically. And he gets a guy out of the audience. This guy is to meet his dad again and he's going to teleport the guy from the podium to hawaii seriously the beach in hawaii seriously this is the illusion so it's got bought on Copperfield basically gets in, in a box with the guy okay the young guy he's about 18 year old guy 20 year old guy and they get in a box maybe they've done and the box is put out over the heads of the audience okay and the box explodes boosh opens up seriously like that okay and there's no one there at all i feel the boat the boat bloke and boat disappeared entirely and they cut, and then they cut to a big video screen in the back of the stadium, okay. And on the video screen, we see we see a beach in Hawaii, okay. And suddenly, along walks uh, this guy, up for the pier on the beach with the guy, okay. They went, they went stupid in, in the arena. Suddenly, vanished from the arena, appeared in on this beach in Hawaii. Seriously, it's amazing. Seriously. And some of their course, they look behind him and suddenly they're running on the beach, this guy's dad, and the man's dad, is, man's been reunited with his dad, basically. It's kind of romantic kind of stuff. The usual kind of romantic kind of stuff as usual. Uh, pulling the heartstrings kind of magic. There's always a plot with this, because you want to have a big reason for vanishing somewhere to make a repair on the beach in Hawaii. Amazing trick, seriously. It's beautifully done, like I'm going to say. It's very baffling indeed. Now, how this is done, Confident just teleport himself back from the beach, back into the arena at the end of the show, seriously. Again, and leaves the guy with his dad on the beach in Hawaii. Now this is amazing, this is a, this is a teleportation illusion or portal illusion. It's like Star Trek teleporting yourself from one place to another place. Literally teleporting yourself around the world from this place where, where this is Florida to Hawaii. Amazing stuff, seriously, it looks amazing. Is that how it works? It was 2001, maybe because there was a CGI graphic. I don't know. It's a good trick, seriously, isn't it? Probably a combination, a little bit of maybe a little bit of uh, electronic gimmickry, possibly in there as well. The illusion is really good, seriously. Uh, it does look amazing, very impressive indeed. This is this illusion coffee works for about 10 years, the teleportation illusion. How to teleport people. It looks really amazing. I don't know exactly how it works. I presume you could do it over and over again with different people. 
and how it ever works, whether it's a studio, whether it's graphics, I'm not exactly sure how it works. Very bad indeed. It's important. It's actually a good illusion. It's not the best illusion ever done. I think I prefer the Statue of Liberty Vanish, I prefer the Vanishing Era, but I prefer the old school stuff. Uh, the only thing with this is if there is if there's electronic gimmickry in this, it, it does kind of take away some of the magic, doesn't it? Having said that, however, it's very good illusion. I do like it indeed. It probably does use some high-tech kind of gimmickry to make it work, but it does work very well indeed. Very baffling indeed. It's a port illusion. Many people have written on YouTube exactly how it works. If you want to know how it's done, there is a secret on YouTube, but I think is, is the secret of it. So go on YouTube itself. I'm looking at you and see if you can search it itself how it's done. But I think the secret is on YouTube of how this illusion is done, the teleportation illusion, or the port illusion it's called by Comfort himself. It's really a teleportation illusion, isn't it? That's what, that's what it is, really. It's a very good illusion indeed. Check it out. And I've got to say, it's a very good illusion indeed, and probably the highlight of the show. Now, I think the highlight of the show actually is the voyeur illusion uh, at the beginning of the show, seriously. The vanish of the guy at uh, Copperfield on top of the, the podium hanging over the audience's heads is very good indeed. That's pristine crystal vanish, isn't it? The, and the thing is way for thin below him, isn't it? The stage way for thin, people are, are below. And Copperfield and the, and the man disappear beautifully behind a sheet on top of this podium, and it's right over the audience's head. It's amazing, isn't it? Very good indeed, seriously. The vanish is better than the actual bit in the, on the beach, actually, in Hawaii, isn't it? But the beach in Hawaii does look real, doesn't it? I've got to say, it looks like a real beach. It's not a studio, it's a real beach. And the bits when he's looking at the photograph in his hand look very real, don't they? So it looks very realistic, doesn't it? Certainly it was a real beach. But I don't know, it's impressive, isn't it? I don't know, it's very baffling. Make sure you just go away and think, how do they get onto a beach? But I think, seriously, the beach is real. That's the thing. It's not a studio in the, in the Port Illusion, seriously. Now, I think, as I say, there may be some electronic gimmickry in there somewhere, but it's very good indeed. But not my favourite illusion of the film. And that's the show. The show kind of finished off rather disappointing, actually. The show finishes rather disappointing on the, on the Tornado Fire. Tornado Fire is a fun illusion of the whole show. To me, it's not a great illusion. Copperfield kind of gets in a kind of aircraft hangar. They kind of uh, set fire to him, basically. He kind of puts the rover rules on. And they stand in the middle of a kind of like a circle thing. And they kind of like fan the kind of flames around him. The flames turn into a big tornado. Right around like this. It's right around him, seriously. And suddenly, the tornado fire goes around him all over the place. He needs to be burnt to death. But he's not burnt to death, luckily. And the tornado kind of fizzes away, basically. And they and he's going, oh, really hot, really hot. And suddenly they spray him down with water. You know what I mean? He's been spraying water. God feels okay. He's okay, seriously. But thankfully, very lucky he's okay. He's not been burnt at all. He's not, not even a scar on his skin, seriously. God feels coming away from this tornado, completely unburnt, seriously. <laughs> more to do with David Blaine. Remember David Blaine, the American magician? This is more like a stunt, like an evil gun evil stunt, isn't it? Than a ma magic trick as such. Good trick, seriously. These tricks were very trendy back in the 2000s, well, these kind of stunt kind of magic things. Um, endurance magic. I wouldn't say I would love it. It's pretty good. Again, it's a bit of a fit at the end of the show, isn't it? Certainly it's not the best in the show. I prefer God for sticking to magic itself, don't you? But it's pretty good illusion. To know the fire. I don't know exactly how it works. I presume he is pretty safe already. It's an illusion, isn't it? But it does look very effective. It looks like he's being literally being burnt to death, doesn't it? But he's not going to be burnt to death, thank God for that. So I hope you enjoyed that. So the show's a really good show indeed. Hope you enjoyed that vlog. I hope you get some of that of a very long and quite bitty magic show. There's very good stuff in indeed. We have got, of course, the appearance from the from the from the from the, um, from the sheet at the beginning of the show, the sheet of a big sheet at the beginning of the show is really good. We've also got the slow motion duck regime is really great again from the old days. We've got we've also got the bit where he slices himself in half the right with the, the laser beam as well. It's really good as well. And then head, legs and head, head and body severed away. Really good indeed. We've also got the, um, the voyeur illusion, which is fantastic. Best in the show, voyeur illusion. Check that out, seriously. With the two girls disappear entirely. We've got all other things we've got, of course, with him disappearing from the audience and appearing on stage. We've also got um, the amazing port illusion as well okay, at the end of the show, which is pretty impressive. The tornado fires as well at the end of the show. And also, we've got the guy bit when he vanishes the water in the glass and appear and the fish appear as well it's a good show, good show seriously i would say the end the actual end illusions are not the best things on the show actually the early parts of the show are actually better in some ways but having said that portal is very good indeed do check portal out it's very interesting indeed it looks real real doesn't it portal doesn't it and it's very baffling isn't it getting from the, from the studio to this amazing beach in hawaii it looks real doesn't it have a think about that have a look on youtube see if you know how it works but it's very fascinating this illusion even though there may be some jubilee pokery in there somewhere somewhere got to be some hasn't it somewhere anyway i hope you enjoyed that okay please remember to like the scrub please do like scrub help me out please do the videos also please click links below for more magic well, please do i've done 60 videos as well of vlogs and blogs and magic so check them out as well please do okay remember to like subscribe and look after yourselves a few more days and we'll do some more tricks and magic as well for you as well look after yourselves and see you again very soon for some more magic chat and illusion see you later on